I feel like a mistake that you have made with this in terms of how you've acquired clients in the past, you're obviously yeah. looking for clients who have a very high retention rate, hey, low attrition. So clients who start with you and they're still with you five years later. Yeah, am I right in saying that? Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Okay, yeah. so that's the sort of client you're looking for. However, the, the hook that you are using to try and attract these clients is some sort of short-term, quick fix, 28-day nutrition challenge reset. So the sort yeah. of person that you're attracting to that, firstly, you're probably attracting females because of the wording of that message, which is going yeah. against this imbalance that you already have that you're trying to correct. Yeah. Secondly, you're attracting the sort of person who wants a quick fix, who wants a fast result, who wants to drop six kilos in four weeks, so they're ready for summer, yeah. and then they say, see you later. Yeah. yeah. Now, a lot of our external marketing, our advertising, we will explicitly say to people, we are not for the sort of person looking for a quick fix. We are not for the sort of person looking for an easy way to do this. We are not for the person who wants to lose four kilos in four weeks. We are for the sort of person who wants a long, slow, consistent process that works over decades, not over weeks. Yeah, yeah. And because of that, maybe we only attract a third of the clients that you would attract. But I would say that those third of clients, we have already filtered out those who don't have a, a, a tendency or a propensity to be long-term clients. So okay. however you first attract a client to your business, make sure that is reflective of the longevity that you want from that client.